Today is a sad day. Today's the day we leave Rainbow Lion Hostel. I've got all my bags on that. Joe is over there. Joe's so getting his towels sorted and everything. And then we'll be heading off to the bus station to go to North Goa. Arambal. It's going to be good. We're going to meet some new people. But like I said, it's sad we're leaving. The time has come. I took took us there. It's a... It's an emotional one. A true connection with a hostel host. Big up Nelson. So I've been seeing a lot of buses going that way. Over there. But we're going that way. Oh, there's a bus coming. This could be us. Fingers crossed. We're on the local bus. We're going from Palalem to Margao. We're going to Margao. It takes like an hour. It costs 70 rupees for two people, which is like 70p. We're on our second bus and we are going to Kanaji and from Kanaji to Arambal. Well, we've stopped off at a bus station in Panaji, uh, Panajim, should I say. Just got some food from this local, local little spot. I've got some samosas, they are unreal. We need to find a ticket office and yeah, get a ticket to go to Arambal. I've just had a shocker. My bag, I've got some like crease release, which you spray on your clothes and then it like irons them, like gets rid of the creases and it's leaked absolutely everywhere. And now I am soaked, but I smell banging. A stroker like me and Joe got here just in time to Mapusa. So we're going to Mapusa and then Mapusa to Arambal. That'll be four buses. It's been like a solid three hours, I'd say, but it's got to be done. This is where I am at the moment. The bus has got very busy. Mental hours. There is no way for an hour I'm going to sit on that bus. Not even that, sit. Yeah, we stand on that bus. We decided to go get a tuk tuk instead because that is just fucking bullshit. People absolutely cramming themselves on there. Like. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. There was literally no need. There was loads of kids in the middle of that and all. People holding their child. We ended up getting a tuk tuk. It cost us 800, which ain't ideal, but I don't want to be in that place anymore. We just got out of tuk tuk. We found our hostel. We're about to go make our way in there and uh, hopefully meet some new friends, some new travellers. Fuck knows the way. Go is still a goer for sure. We're gonna see what it's got to hold. Head into the beach now to get some food. Yeah, it'll change the scenery. It's quite, it's different for sure. It's much more busy. Walking through a little neighborhood, it feels like. Seeing all the, seeing all the locals chilling with their families and that. Me and Joe have not looked at a map once. We just sense the beach. Are we in someone's garden? It looks like we're in someone's garden. I reckon we'll walk straight through it. I've for sure seen more Russian people here than I have Indian people. I think they've colonised the place because there is a shit ton of them. But they seem nice. They're all doing yoga. It seems more, I don't know, more spiritual than South. Even though they say it's a party place. It looks like we're, we're walking up towards the party place now. And it is, yeah, it's daytime, but it's Friday night, so shit's gonna go down in that for sure. This is what I was on about when I was saying I've seen loads of Russians. Look, even their menus, it's like in English and Russian. <coughs> None of it is in Indian. So crazy. We've gone with carbon oh, there's flies everywhere. But it's good. The setting's amazing. Me and Joe have just been handed something, so we might send it. It's like a, um, I don't know, it's like a DJ rave maybe. I don't know, we're gonna go check it out. It starts at 10 tonight. Hopefully it's a uh, trance because Joe has been wanting to go to one since we got here. Just finished our food. I had a spaghetti carbonara, no. I've been waiting for one, but it's been Indian food this whole time I've been here. So I mixed up, I needed a change. It was needed, literally like, just curry, morning, lunch, dinner, like for fucking nine days. So yeah, you know what curry does to you. This place is a vibe. <laughs> I 
I've just seen some geezer. It looks like he's doing a little podcast on the beach. He's over there, sat down, he's got a mic, little tripod set up. This is pure paradise, people. Get your ass to Goa. I don't know what people in the south are saying that this place is bad because I've just had nothing but good vibes. Honestly, I feel it here. I feel it here. I feel good about it. We're gonna go check this little rave looking place. It's up, it's up a big hill and maybe have a little dance. Who knows? We'll see what the locals are saying. <laughs> Alright, so we've just left a cool little place. Me and Joe got to talk to a few people. Good vibes. Anyone that says that North Goa is not a send is a liar because it's definitely a send. Moral of the story is don't listen to people and go and experience stuff for yourself because the world's crazy, bro. Ugh. So brother that just came out of the toilet, he didn't shut the door, so I don't know if he's done the shit, but bro, that is not what you want to see when you walk into a toilet, for sure. Let's go see what Joe's saying. Toilet, fucking minus seven out of ten. It's bad, it's bad. There's a big shit in there. <laughs> we left the place with that because it was the vibes weren't kicking. They were kicking, but it's like you've got to switch up every now and then. So we switched up. We bought Anastasia to where we are going, which is this place right now. See the vibes. It's a Russian place as well. We found a better bar for sure. Going home soon, because it is midnight, but the party don't stop, baby. Big day tomorrow, but I'm dancing. Some serious fucking acid. <laughs> so we just come to a restaurant. Me and Joe, we get some takeaway food. All I want to say is, I'll show you the seats. So we have one, two, three, four. Joe, six, seven, eight, nine. We've been here five minutes. All Russian, they've all left. We've got a wrap. Wow. It's a seven out of ten for There's sure. So much goodness in there. What, what have we got in it, Joe? You got dill, you got pickle, you got loads of greenery, fair chicken, and stuffs. You know, if you're in India, you can't have nothing with a bit of urban spice. There's a lot of spice. Tonight's been good. We've met a lot of people. Make sure you watch the video in two days' time. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Mm. Right, everyone, I'm not gonna lie to you, this might be one of the best raps I've ever had in my whole entire life. It's sending me sideways. This is what Joe's doing. Mm. So <laughs>